just take me through some of these responses. But obviously, I suppose the first question is, uh, with COVID-19 restrictions in place, I've got to ask you how this survey was conducted. So this was an online um, survey um, that was conducted both through um, doing social media adverts, which then directed people to the survey, um, but also delivering it through the the Moya Messenger app, which meant it also was data free for people to take the survey online. So there was no data cost. Is there a difference? And this resulted in over 10,000 people taking the survey. Prof, is there a difference in terms of what people might respond to somebody asking them the questions and, say, writing them down, uh, you know, somebody knocking on their doorstep, as it were, versus uh, the way this was done? Absolutely. There will always be uh, some differences with the way in which surveys are delivered. Um, But one of the nice things of an online survey compared to perhaps a face-to-face survey is um, sometimes when you conduct face-to-face surveys, there's something called a socially desirable answer, meaning that because you're obviously speaking to a person, you're more likely to give them the answer that you think they want to hear, maybe rather than your real answer. So one of the advantages of online surveys is because um, there isn't another person in front of you, there is perhaps more freedom in how you answer. But of course, it will depend from person to person how they respond. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. So that level of anonymity gives a, perhaps a more honest reflection of what the people really, really feel. All right, let's break it down. It would appear there are some variations depending on age, for example, depending on the level of education, uh, even uh, in terms of uh, race, in terms of how people answered. Yeah, absolutely. So two-thirds um, of people said that they will definitely or probably take the vaccine. But when we we break that down, there are some differences in terms of who says, yes, they definitely will, or say no, or or don't know if they'll take the vaccine. So what we found was that black African adults were more likely to want to take the vaccine um, compared to white adults. It was 69% for black African adults and 55% for white adults. Um, Those that are older, again, are much more likely to want to take the vaccine compared to those who are younger. And I think that obviously makes sense, given that uh, those that are older are in a higher risk profile. Uh, But also, interestingly, those with a less than matric education were much more likely to want to take the vaccine than those with a tertiary education. I found that uh, finding quite surprising myself, um, but it's certainly a very, very interesting one. Current events. Developing stories. Tough questions. Your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.